Gracious and eternal Heavenly Father. Mungu mwenye neema na wamelele. You are the creator of heaven and earth and the giver of every good gift. We are so grateful to be assembled around your blessed word. Heaven and earth will pass away. But your word will never pass away. As I said in the beginning, Lord, we're not here to impress people. Hatupo hapa kuwafurahisha tu watu. But we need to be drawn closer. Tunapaswa tuvutwe karibu zaidi. To our maker. Kwa muumbaji wetu. We here because we need more of God. Tuko hapa kwa sababu tunamhitaji Mungu zaidi. We get to feast on the body word of the son of man. Tupo hapa kumla mwana wa Adamu mwili. We want nothing else but the word. Hatuhitaji kingine isipokuwa neno. Will you come Lord this morning? Bwana unapokuja asubuhi hii and just bless us. Na kutubariki tu as we meditate on your word. Tunavoendelea kulitafakari neno lako. Father come and get glory for yourself. Bwana uje ujitwalie utukufu wote. Lord we commit everything into your hands. Tunakikabidhi kila kitu mikononi mwako. Bless the reading of your word. Bariki usomaji wa neno lako. And Lord we'll never forget. Na Bwana kamwe tusisahau to give you the honor the praise and the glory kukupa wewe utukufu heshima na kila kitu for we ask all this in jesus wonderful name kwa kwa tunaomba haya katika jina la la ajabu la bwana yesu kristo amen and amen amina na amina praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe before you take your seats kabla hamjakaa can we just read a portion of scripture je tuweza kusoma sehemu ya maandiko sura ya 5 ya ufunuo Ufunuo tano moja Asoma katika jina la Bwana. Kisha nikaona katika mkono wa kuume wake yeye aliyeketi juu ya kile kiti cha enzi kitabu kilichoandikwa ndani na nyuma kimetiwa muhuri saba. Nikaona malaika mwenye nguvu akihubiri kwa sauti kuu, ni nani asailie kukifungua kitabu na kuzivunja muhuri zake? Three. Wala hapakuwa na mtu mbinguni wala juu ya nchi wala chini ya nchi aliyeweza kukifungua hicho kitabu wala kukitazama. Amen. Nne. Nami nikalia sana kwa kuwa hapakuonekana mtu astahilie kukifungua hicho kitabu wala kukitazama. Na mmoja wapo wa wale wazee akaniambia usilie tazama Simba aliye wa kabila ya Yuda shina la Daudi yeye ameshinda apate kukifungua kile kitabu na zile muhuri zake saba. Nikaona katikati ya kile kiti cha enzi na wale wenye uhai wanne na katikati ya wale wazee mwana kondoo amesimama aki eh, alikuwa kana kwamba amechinjwa mwenye pembe saba na macho saba ambazo ni roho saba za Mungu zilizotumwa katika dunia yote. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know that you are part of that Je, portion of scripture unajua wewe ni sehemu ya haya maandiko amen amen it's all about you ninyi nyote praise the lord amen i think you may take your seats nafikiri sasa mnaweza kukaa i'm going to read another portion of scripture you don't need to stand for that nitasoma sehemu nyingine ya maandiko labda tu msisimame Uh, but i just want to get started lakini nataka tu nipate pa kuanzia thank you brother brother ben mentioned something about adam and eve ndugu bwana alisema kitu fulani kuhusu adam na hawa god created an eden Mungu aliumba akatengeneza bustani ya Eden. Brother Branham calls it the garden of life. Lakini ndugu Branham anaita ni bustani ya uzima. And he plays man in the garden of Eden. Akamweka mtu ndani ya bustani. And God used to visit them every day. Na Mungu aliwatembelea katika kupunga kwa jua jioni. And he would walk with them through the garden. Na yangetembea nao katika ile bustani. And Adam would say. Na Adam angesema, Papa. Baba. I call that tall thing giraffe. Yule pale nilimpa jina anaitwa Twiga. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
He said that little thing on the ground I Aksema, call it tortoise. Kale kadogo pale chini kanaitwa kobe. Amen. Hey, brother sister Adam was naming the animals. Ndugu dada Adam ndiye aliyegawa majina. The garden of Eden was perfect. Bustani ya Eden ilikuwa imekamilika. There was nothing wrong. Hakukuwa na kosa hata moja. There was no sin. Hakukuwa na dhambi. It was tarnish free. Ilikuwa ni huru na safi. Hallelujah. Amen. And God said, Na ndipo Mungu akasema, You just need to stay behind the word. Unapaswa tu kukaa nyuma ya neno. I've given you my word. Nimekupa neno langu. Stay fortified behind the word. Kaa ukiwa umelindwa nyuma ya neno. Hallelujah. Amen. God is giving you and I the same instruction. Mungu amekupa wewe na mimi maelekezo yale yale. God is expected you to stay behind the word. Mungu anakutarajia ukae nyuma ya neno. And that's where Eve failed. Hapo ndipo Hawa aliposhindwa. She came from behind the word. Aliondoka nyuma ya neno. And what happened? Nini kilitukia? Ndugu mwana sema every ambulance. Ndio maana unaona kila ambulance. Every funeral. Ndio maana unaona kila msiba. Every murder. Kila unaona mtu ameuawa. Was because Kwa nini? Kwa sababu Hawa aliondoka nyuma ya neno. Can we say amen? Unataka kusema amina? Can we say praise the Lord? Unataka kusema Bwana Yesu asifiwe? Can we give the Lord a wave? Unaweza kumpungia Mungu mkono wa sifa? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lord. Je, unampenda Bwana? Now here's the conclusion. Sasa, hitimisho hili. Eve, Hawa couldn't live a straight life. Alishindwa kuishi maisha yaliyo nyoka. In a perfect Eden. Katika bustani iliyokuwa imekamilika. But God is vowed. Lakini Mungu the second Adam. Akamleta Adamu wa pili. Will have a bride. Naye atajipatia bibi harusi. And God is going to place her in the midst of Satan's Eden. Na Mungu atamweka huyu Adam katika edeni ya shetani. But she will never fail the word. Lakini hata hivyo hata aliangusha neno. Amen. Amen. Godless of the environment. Bila ya kujali mazingira magumu. In Satan's Eden. Katika edeni ya shetani. But she will have a word about it. Lakini ataishi neno lote. She will hold on to the word. Atalishikilia neno. Amen. Amen. God give us grace. Mungu atujalie neema. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about you and I. Nazungumza juu yako wewe. We are living in Satan's Eden. Tunaishi kwenye edeni ya shetani. But yet we're going to live a straight life. Lakini hata hivyo tutaishi maisha masafi. Amen. Amen. John chapter 2 and I just want to read from verse 1 to verse 10. Yohana 2 nataka nisome tu 1 mpaka 10. This was I I I really enjoyed last night with the uh, couples. Na nilifurahia sana mikutano wa jana usiku kuhusu wanandoa. Hallelujah. Amen. I just saw some king kings with their queen. Niliona tu ni wafalme na malikia zao. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For those who are without a queen. Wale ambao hawana hawakuja na malikia zao. Amen. Amen. Brothers and them they were without their queens they missed out. Wale ambao hawakuja na malikia zao walikosa. How because the brothers were told? The brothers were told. Na wale wa ndugu wakaambiwa, face your wife. Mwangalie mkeo. Hold her hands. Mshike mikono yake. And give her a kiss. Alafu mbusu. My word. Jamani, we took them back to their animal. Tuliwarudisha kwenye fungate yao. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 John chapter 2 we want to read from. Tunataka kusoma Yohana 2 kuanzia from verse 1 fungu cha kwanza mpaka cha 10 I promise not to be long but you need to promise me that you're going to give me your undivided attention Na waahidi ibada itakuwa ndefu lakini lazima mniahidi kwamba mtanisikiliza vizuri Amen Amen Bible says verse 1 Am mstari wa kwanza nasema John chapter 2 Yohana 2 kuanzia kifungu cha kwanza And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee and the mother of Jesus was there. Na siku ya tatu palikuwa na harusi huko Cana mji wa Galilaya naye mama yake Yesu alikuwa hapo. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. Naye Yesu alialikwa harusini pamoja na wanafunzi wake. So Mary Jesus and the disciples. Kwa hiyo kuna Mariamu Yesu na wanafunzi wake. They were all invited. Wote walialikwa to this wedding. Waingie kwenye hii harusi. Are we together? Tuko pamoja? 
Maybe I need to repeat something. Laba nahitaji kurudia sehemu no, yoyote. Ndugu Branham anasema. If I say something. Kama nasema kitu. And you say amen. Na wewe unaitikia amina. He says I will not get upset. Anasema hilo si halinita nishtua. I will be encouraged. Nitatiwa moyo. Hallelujah. Amen. If you know its word, Brother Benham says a true Christian will punctuate every word word and Nabi anasema Mkristo wa kweli ataitikia amina kwa kila neno la Mungu. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ah, that feels already here. Uh, Tayari hapo naona mmeshaingia. Verse 3. Mstari wa 4. And when they wanted wine. Hata divai ilipowatendikia. The mother of Jesus said unto him Mama Yesu ma, mama Yesu akawaambia They have no more wine. Hawana divai. Isn't it strange? Sasa sio jambo la kushangaza? Things always go wrong at weddings. Kwenye harusi kila wakati kuna mapungufu. Sometimes the, 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 the bride groom is already there. Muda mwingine unakuta bwana harusi siku nyingi I was at the wedding and the bride was two hours late. Na niliwahi kuwa kwenye harusi bibi harusi alichelewa masaa mawili. We were supposed to start at 12. Ilipasa tuanze saa 6. She came there looking for it. Akaja pale amechelewa. Masaa mawili baadaye. Always things go wrong. Kila wakati kuna mapungufu. If the, if the food is not cold. Kama wapumbavu hawajaitwa. There is just something not right at the wedding. Kama mambo yajapangiliwa vizuri kuna kitu lazima kiende mrama. This particular wedding. Na katika hii harusi. The Bible says. Bibi inasema. Divai ili watpungukia. Jesus mother says hey, Mama Yesu akasema There's no more wine Meisha they run out completely wa What a disaster Hey bala gani ile Amen Amen Praise the Lord Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Amen Verse four says and Jesus said unto her Stali wana unasema Yesu akamwambia akamwambia Woman what have I to do with thee Mwanamke nina nini cha mimi na wewe My hour has not yet come Saa yangu bado haijawadia. Verse 5 and his mother said unto the servants. Mstari wa 5 mama yake akawaambia watumishi. Whatsoever he saith unto you. Lolote atakalowaambia. Do it. Fanyeni. This is a sermon on its own brothers. Na hiyo nilikuwa ni ujumbe kwa wanadamu. Brother Adam, you can Brother Adam, you can go and preach on this. Unaweza kuenda kuhubiri kwenye hili tu. Whatsoever Jesus saith. Lolote Yesu atakalokuambia. Do it. Sifanye hilo. If he says you must be born again, do it. Akisema uweke watu mikono, waweke. If he says you need the Holy Ghost, do it. Akisema ufanye kitu fulani wewe kifanye. Whatever Jesus say unto you. Chochote Yesu anachokuambia. Do it. Kifanye hapo hapo. He says give me your heart. Kama akisema nipe moyo wako. Give me your life. Nipe maisha yako. Surrender yourself. Wewe usijizuie. Do it. Fanya hapo hapo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever he says. Ndugu Bwana anasema Chochote atakachosema do it. Kifanya hapo hapo. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 The best advice. Na ushauri mzuri kuliko wote. Whatsoever he said unto you. Kwamba chochote atakachowaambia do it. Kifanyeni. Verse 6. Sita. And there were set there six water pots of stone. Na palikuwa hapo huko basi mabalasi no sita na mawe nayo hayana divai. Hallelujah. I've just looked it up and I say this 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 uh, uh, stone pots water pots could take 40 almost 41 liters of Hayo mabalasi balasi moja linachukua lita 40. Just by the way if you interested kama unataka kujua ni ilikuwa kiasi gani. So six times 40. Sasa sita mara 40. Hey, there's a lot of wine. Sasa hiyo ilikuwa ni divai ya kutosha kwa kweli. Verse 7 and Jesus. Saba anasema, Yesu akawaambia, Whatsoever Jesus said unto you, Chochote Yesu atakachokuambia, kifanye. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Jesus said, "Here yeah, are the six empty pots." Yesu nipo akasema, "Hapo kuna mabalasi sita." Amen. He Hayana says, kitu. "Fill the water pots with water." Akayaambia waejezeni mabalasi kwa maji. But God We don't need water. Lakini mbona hatuhitaji maji? We need wine. Tunahitaji divai. The people need wine. Watu wanahitaji divai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is the God of the paradoxical. Na Yesu ndiye Mungu wa vitu vilivyoshindikana. It was it was unthinkable. Ni jambo ambalo uwezi hata kulifikiria. Yaani tunataka divai anasema maji. Tunataka divai. Fill it up with water. Halafu yeye anamwambia jaza maji. Oh listen to this. Sikiliza hii. 
What did we say? Whatever Jesus said. Lakini alisha waonya chochote atakacho wambia. The Bible says, and they fill them up to the brim. Now wakayajaza mpaka chuo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not halfway. Hawakuweka nusu. Hawakuweka nusu. Not up here. Hawakuweka lobo tatu. Biblia inasema waliajaza mpaka juu. Hallelujah. We spoke on the Holy Ghost. Tulizungumza Roho Mtakatifu. We said that the Bible says. Tusema ndugu Bwana anasema. says we just want sisi tunataka sehemu kidogo ya Roho Mtakatifu. So that we can stop lying. Ili tuache kusema uongo, tuache kuvulewa. We just want to have enough Holy Ghost to help us to stop. Tunataka tu Roho Mtakatifu kidogo atufanye twende ibadani. But the prophet of God says. Lakini na nasemaje? Jesus wants to give us so much yes, of the Holy Ghost. Yesu anataka na Roho sana. Until our whole beings are filled with. Baka utu wetu wote ugeuzwe kuwa yeye. Fold up to the brim. Tujazwe mpaka juu. Fold up to the top. Tujazwe mpaka juu kabisa. Fold up all the way. Tujazwe safari yetu yote. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hey man. And they fill them up to the brim. Wakayajaza mabalasi mpaka juu. And he said unto them. Ipaka waambia. Drought. Man, drought. Toeni. Verse 8 and he said drought. Akawaambia sasa tekeni. And give it unto the governor of the feast. Mkawapeleke wakuu wa meza kwanza. The man who's in charge of the feast. Wale walio wakuu kwanza. Take this water and give it to him. Haya maji choteni kawapeni wakuu. Amen. Hallelujah. And they bait Nao walifanya hivyo. Listen now you need to listen. Sasa mnapaswa kusikiza. He says when the ruler of the feast had tasted the water. Naye mkuu wa meza alipoyaonja yale maji. That was made wine. Yalipo eh, yali yaliyopata kuwa divai. Can you imagine how he was doing it? Unaweza kufikiria alivyokuwa anayajaribu jaribu. Hallelujah. What's this what? Hey, manata, ita maji. It, it was turned into wine. Bona ni yamegeuka kuwa divai. Not just second class wine. Wala sio divai ya daraja la pili. He says I don't know where this come from. Hiyo ndio inapotoka. I have drank of the previous wine. Nilikunywa divai ya kwanza. But it doesn't take like this. Lakini sio tam kama hii. This is different. Hii ya tofauti. This is the best. Hii ndio bora kuliko. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The Bible says in the garden of the feast called the bridegroom. Na ndipo eh alipomuita mkuu wa meza akawaambia. He says I don't know where this is from. Hii sijui imetoka wapi. But it tastes like nothing else. Lakini ni bora kuliko kitu chochote. And and said unto him. Naye akamwambia. This brings me to my title for today. And he said unto him. Ndipo akamwambia every man if you go to a wedding. Kila mtu kama unaenda kwenye harusi. At the beginning. Pale mwanzoni. He says what he says he says the, 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 the norm the, the normal way of doing it at the beginning you give the people the best. Wanasemaje huko? Harusi inapoanza tu wape kitu kizuri kwanza. And when men have well drunk. Na watu wakishakunywa wakajitosheleza. Then that which is worse. Sasa ndo wanaleta yale e, matakataka. The, 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 the substandard the poor quality wine you give. Ile divai like ambayo ni mbaya mbaya ndo inaletwa watu wakishalewa. But at first you Lakini mwanzoni harusi inapoanza wanatoa divai nzuri. You see when, when guy, I, I have never drank in my life. Ah sijawahi kulewa jamani. Maybe some of you have been. yetu tumewahi kulewa zamani. Baada ya yale mapipa sita yameisha. Walikuwa tayari wameshaanza kuyumba. Sasa hapo mtu alielewa hawezi kuonja ladha vizuri. Wape sasa hivi ubaya kwanza. Wape nzuri kwanza wakishalewa hawatajua mbaya imekuja. Hawezi tena kukuonja. You can't know the difference. Huwezi kujua hii ni mbaya au nzuri umeshalewa. Ni mbaya au ni nzuri ujui. Hayajalishi leta tu. Oh God have mercy. Mungu awe mwingi wa neema. Amen. Sasa huyu mkuu wa meza akasema unto him every man at the beginning God set forth good wine. Akawaambia kila mtu kwanza huandaa divai iliyo njema. And when men have well drunk hata watu wakiisha kunywa sana ndipo ulete iliyo dhaifu 
But thou Lakini wewe has kept umetunza the good wine divine njema until now hata sasa until the end paka sasa he couldn't understand asingeweza kuelewa he says you gave us the bad wine first sema wewe ulitupa divine mbaya kwanza alafu mara tu umetuletea hiyo nzuri he says you have saved the best for us akisema wewe umetupa kilicho bora ulitutunzia divai iliyo bora amen you get back the best wine until the end umetoa divai nzuri mwishoni That saints of God. Is the title of my message. Huo ndio kichwa cha ujumbe wangu. Just like at the wedding at Cana. Kama tu harusi ya Cana. God has kept back the best for us. Mungu ametutunzia vitu vilivyo bora. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a wave of praise. Hebu mpungie Mungu mkono wa sifa. Amen. You don't realize how privileged and fortunate you are this morning. Wewe uitambui nafasi uliyonayo ambayo wengine waliikosa. This is not the day of Wesley. Hii sio siku ya Wesley. God has reserved the best for us. Mungu alitunzia mambo mema kwa ajili yetu. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise his wonderful name. Barikiwe jina lake la ajabu. I'm ready to preach if you are ready to listen. Nipo tayari kuhubiri kama upo tayari kusikiliza vizuri. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. You've kept the best for us. Ametutunzia kilicho bora. Praise his wonderful name. Amen. What God has done or what happened at the wedding at Cana? Mungu alichofanya au kilichotokea kwenye harusi ya Cana? God has done exactly the same. Mungu amefanya vile vile in our day and age. Katika kizazi na siku yetu. He has kept the best for us. Ametutunzia kilicho bora kuliko vyote. Amen. Oh there's a little song I think you I should know it. Kuna wimbo nafikiri mnaujua. There's a little song that goes like this. Kuna wimbo mdogo unaimbwa hivi. There's never been a day. Haijawahi tokea siku kama leo. There's never Sijawahi kuona siku kama leo. I see. You know it? Yeah. Let's sing it because it's about us. Huo ni wimbo wetu. Hebu na tuuimbe. Ndugu Isaac. Siku kama leo sijawahi kuona siku kama leo haijawahi tokea mwanga never been a day like this one hajawahi tokea siku kama ya leo there's never been a day that parallel our day and age hajawahi tokea siku nzuri kuliko siku yetu leo there is no other age hakuna kizazi kingine ambacho unaweza kutulinganisha nacho na hiki hapa hallelujah hallelujah glory to god utukufu kwa mungu amen amen our day is beyond compare na siku yetu haiwezi kulinganishwa this is an incomparable siku hii hailinganishiki Amen. Amen. I can with safety say there's never been a day like. Na sio sababu akasema hajawahi tokea siku kama ya leo. There's been great ministries. Kumekuwa tokea huduma kubwa. There's been great men of God. Kumekuwa na mtu watu wa Mungu wakubwa. In years gone by. Kwenye miaka ya nyuma. There's never been a day like. Lakini hajawahi kuepo siku kama ya leo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise is wonderful. Nibarikiwe jina lake la ajabu. Listen to what Brother Benham says. Sikiliza ndugu wangu mwana tusema katika ujumbe. Invisible union of the Lord. Muungano usioonekana wa bibi harusi. He says. Anasema, I am thankful to God. Ninamshukuru sana Bwana to be living kuishi in this time. Wakati huu. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. of the closing scenes of this world nyakati zinazofunga historia ya ulimwengu i don't know mimi sijui if i would have had a say so kama ningekuwa ninalo la kusema if god would have asked me kwa maneno mengine kama mungu angeniuliza give me the opportunity to say something anipe fursa ya kusema jambo fulani foundation of the world kabla ya kuweka misingi ya ulimwengu kule and the god would have laid out the whole program na mungu angeuonyesha mpango wake wote kwangu and said to me na niambie william branham william branham i want you to preach nataka uende ukahubiri now what age do you Sasa, desire unataka utokee kizazi kipi to go to the earth and preach ili uende ukahubiri 
Listen to his response. Angalia anasema ngevu mjibu. Anasema I would have chose this age. Ningechagua nitokee kizazi hiki. For I think this is the golden age. Kwa sababu nafikiri hiki ni kizazi cha dhahabu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the golden age that you are living in. Hiki ni kizazi cha dhahabu unachoishi. Brother, Nugu. you are preaching in the best age ever. Unaishi kwenye kizazi bora kuliko. Unahubiri kwenye kizazi bora kuliko. Amen. Amen. There's one quote by Brother Benham says. Kuna nukumu moja Madu Brahman anasema. I wonder if you are thankful enough for the Sijui kama unamshukuru Mungu vya kutosha. Kwamba Mungu amefahamika kwako kwenye kizazi hiki. Believe me. Niamini. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. He would have loved to. Angetamani atokee. this morning. Awe kwenye ibada hii asubuhi leo. Stand behind the pulpit. Na yasimame nyuma ya mimbara. But he wasn't privileged. Lakini hakupewa hiyo nafasi. You are privileged. Wewe umepewa hiyo nafasi. To love in the golden age. Utokee kwenye kizazi cha dhahabu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Think of it. Ebu Azia. Brother Adam says. God has done more. Mungu amefanya mambo mengi zaidi. Katika historia ya mwanadamu. One service. Katika ibada moja. Then there what he has done. Kuliko hicho kufanya. Kwenye huduma zingine zote. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. Za Bwana Yesu Kristo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the golden age. Hiki ni kizazi cha dhahabu. Praise is wonderful. Nibarikiwe jina lake. Amen. This age cannot be compared with nothing. Hichi kizazi huwezi kulinganisha na kingine. Bwana anasema. This is a horrible time for the unbeliever. Huu ni wakati mbaya kuliko kwa asiamini. And the sinner to live in. Na mdhambi kama ataishi. I don't know you people seem to be so tired. I see. Mbona mnaonekana mko mmechoka choka, wengine wanasinzia. I see some people are, if I knew your name Kama ningelijua jina lako ningekutumbua hapa Listen there's nothing as bad as facing sleeping people when Unajua try to get something across to them Hakuna kitu kibaya kama kuwatazama watu wanaosinzia wakati unawapa mambo ya muhimu kwao There are people sleeping on this side Unaona kuna watu huko wanasinzia huko huko kuna watu wanasinzia kuna watu huko wanasinzia ah huyo mwache asema mimi hivyo huyo anikwazi angalau yuko macho sana amen 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 praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe bwana anasema this is a horrible time for the unbeliever ni wakati mbaya na hatari kwa asiamini and for the sinner na ni wakati mbaya kwa mdhambi but it's one of the most glorious lakini ni wakati uliotukuka sana for the believer to kwa muaminio kuishi hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe no saints naona i think maybe i need to start preaching and people will sleep less labda nianze kuhubiri sasa watu watapunguza kusinzia. Amen. Amen. You see what make this hour so special? Kitu gani kinafanya saa hii iwe ni ya muhimu kuliko? You see there were certain biblical events. Unaona kulikuwa kuna matukio fulani ya kimaandiko that could not have happened in the days of the apostle. Ambayo hayaweza kutokea siku za mtume Paulo. It could not have happened in days of Hayakuweza kutokea siku za Irneo. It could not have happened in days of Wesley. Yasingetokea siku za Wesley. It could only have happened. Yangeweza tu kutokea in this day. Katika siku yetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let me just share a couple of events that couldn't have happened in any other age. Laba nitamke baadhi ya matukio ambayo yasingewezekana kutokea kizazi kingine chochote. The body change of the living saints. Kubadilishwa mwili kwa watakatifu walio hai. The apostle Paul spoke about it. The apostle Paul spoke about it. Hata eh, mtume Paulo amezungumza kubadilishwa mili yetu. Remember he says in the Bible? Kumbuka alisema katika Biblia, brother our bodies the change will be like a, a twinkling of an eye. Na alisema ndugu tutabadilishwa katika kufumba na kufumbua kwa jicho. We will be changed. Tutabadilishwa from mortal to immortal kutoka kuharibika kuingia kutoka kuharibika he spoke about it alizungumza hilo jambo but it could not have happened in his days lakini isingeweza kutokea kwenye siku yake there were still six church ages to play themselves out zikapita nyakati sita za kanisa ili jambo hilo litimie kubadilika kwa mwili could only have happened this day kuna tokea siku hii ya leo tu only in our age ni 
kwenye kizazi chetu tu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the golden age. Na hichi ni kizazi cha dhahabu. Kimetokea iwezekana kizazi hiki tu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother sister. Ndugu dada. The resurrection of the dead saints. Kufufuka kwa watu walio kulala. Kutotokea kizazi kingine. It could only have happened in the Kutatokea kwenye kizazi hiki tu. Brother sister. Ndugu dada. One of these days. Moja hizi siku. Is there a brother that you've left with the past one? Una ndugu yako aliyelala? Ndio. Anaitwa nani? Robi K. Robi H. Robi K. Yeah. You going to walk around? Kuna siku utatembea. Hey, maybe you stand there. Labda umesimama tu. Are you open air busy preaching? Na unahubiri sehemu ya wazi. And brother the next moment na mara tu ndugu brother robi kieki is standing ndugu right robi kieki amesimama hapo pembeni yako and he says preach it my brother hapo anasema ubiri tena ndugu yangu hallelujah hallelujah and you look around unageuka he says i, I, I recognize that voice ah nimetambua sauti brother robi said you ah ndugu robi ni wewe he says yes sema ndio brother brother says ndugu brother anasema if you see him kama utamuona then you must know it has happened to you lazima ujue na wewe utatoka utafufulika mili yetu imebadilishwa amen amen the rapture could not have taken place in the days of martin unyakuwa usingeweza kutokea nyakati za huko nyuma brother things that could not have happened in any other age brother mambo haya yasingeweza kutokea kwenye kizazi kingine chochote what about the ministry of the son of man hebu fikiria huduma ya mwana wa adam a son of man revealing the son of man mwana wa adam akimfunua yule mwana wa adam the opening of the seals je mambo yote kufunuliwa kwa miuri the opening of the seals could not have happened kufunuliwa kwa miuri yote kusingefanyika vizazi vingine it could only have happened in ingefanyika tu sasa the declaration of all the mysteries in the bible kutangaza kwa siri zote za mungu only in this age ni kwenye kizazi hiki tu Brother just amen. Ndugu dada Amina wanted to write what the seven thunders uttered. Na ngurumo saba zilipopiga sauti zake. The voice told him don't write it. Sauti kamwambia Yohana usizidike. It is not the time. Sio wakati wake. It will be revealed. Zitafunuliwa. Lakini sio leo. 2000 years later. Yake 2000 kapita. The revelation of the thunders is history. Na saa hizi kufunuliwa kwa miuri ni historia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God have mercy. Mungu awe mwingi wa rehema. The display of the sign of the son of man. Kuonyesha ishara ya yule mwana wa Adam. What is the uh, the messiah sign? Ishara ya kimasihi ni nini? Can I trust the church to give me an answer? Nategemea kanisa linijibu vema. Bwana Bwana anasema sign of the messiah is the discernment of the spirit. Ishara ya kimasihi ni ule upambanuzi wa mawazo ya ndani. Abraham Ibrahim facing the back. Amegeuka ameipa mgongo hema. Sarah was in the tent behind. Sarah alikuepo kule ndani nyuma. Why why did she laugh? Sasa kwa nini Sarah anacheka? He know the thoughts and intents of her heart. Aliona mawazo yaliyo kwenye kilindi cha moyo wa mtu. Sign of the Messiah. Hiyo ni ishara ya kimasihi. That was the sign of the Messiah to the Jews. Ilikuwa ni ishara ya kimasihi kwa Wayahudi. Jesus when he was on earth was the sign of the Messiah to the, the Samaritans. Na Yesu alipokuwa duniani alikuwa ni ishara ya kimasiko wa Samaria. He told the Samaritan woman. Alimwambia mwanamke msamaria. You got five husbands. Unao waume watano. And the six one that you know. Na yule wa sita ambaye uko naye sasa hivi. He is not even your. Hata naye sio wako. I am sure that woman was standing there with with her hands behind her. Nafikiri yule mwanamke alishika mikono nyuma akashangaa. She was thinking. Akana wazia. He said five. Alisema watano, watano. He kweli kuna Petro. Yuko na Yohana nilitembea naye. Na yule yule mzee mwingine. Ah. Ah na Walter naye nilitembea naye. Ah, kweli sita. Na Yakobo, wewe huyu. Right now at home. Na sasa hivi nyumbani kwangu. Is my other boyfriend. Yupo mpenzi wangu, mume. The sixth one. Wa sita. She says, "Lord." Akasema, "Bwana." No. Tunajua when Messiah comes Masiya japo he will be able to tell me what's going on Ataniambia siri za moyoni mwangu Hallelujah Hallelujah The sign of the Messiah to the Gentiles Hiyo ni ishara ya 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 Masiya kwa Samaria But lakini but lakini 
the sign of the Messiah was never on display to them. Ishara ya kimasiha ikuwa ikutolewa kwa mataifa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never in the history. Kwenye historia yote. Was the sign of Messiah. Ishara ya kimasiha ijewe ikutolewa kwa wa mataifa. Oh, ndugu miaka michache iliyopita lakini. Alikuwaepo mtu kule Arizona. Alikuwa kwenye mkutano. Aligeuza mkongongo wake kwa kunani? Akawaambia ishara. Kwamba Huyu ni dada dada. Prudence kutoka Boma. You are not praying for yourself. Jiulizeni wenyewe. You are praying for your husband. Unataka kumwombea na mume wako. He's an alcoholic. Yeye ni mlevi. Go home. Rudi nyumbani. God will deliver him from that alcoholism. Na ameachana na wewe. Amen. That was the sign. Hiyo ilikuwa ni ishara ya Masihi. It could not have happened in any other age. Isingetokea vizazi vya zamani. Only in this age. Ila ni kwenye kizazi hiki. God has kept the very best. Mungu ametutunzia kilicho bora. For last. Kwa ajili yetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm going to skip some stuff. Taruka baadhi ya mambo. I've learned to preach uh, over the years and uh, when I sense that the people are getting the message na nimejifunza kuhubiri miaka mingi naweza kuona watu kama wanapata ujumbe ni bora nipunguze nukuu kwa sababu lengo ni kunyie mpate ujumbe amen so it's important for you it is important for you to be responsive kwa hiyo ni muhimu nyie kwenu kuwajibika I don't need your amens but you need to say amen brother Benham says unapaswa kusema amen na ndugu Benham anasema If the Holy Ghost is inside of you. Takatifu, it will punctuate the word of God. Ataitikia amina kwa kila neno la Mungu. When brother Branham was sharing with sister Hetty right. Na ndipo ndugu Branham alikuwa anasimulia hadithi dada Hetty right achiwepo. Akawa anasimulia habari yake iliyotokea kwenye mlima. He says I was standing there. Akisema nilikuwa nimesimama pale. I wanted some squirrels. Nilikuwa nataka hawa wasungula polini. Na na nilikuwa nataka kuwinda. And he said nakasema I asked the Lord to give me three squirrels. Nikaomba Mungu anipe sungula poli watatu. He says I want one just Na mmoja mmoja awe pale. There was nothing. Hakukuwa na kitu. That when the the squirrel. Na huyo kindi yuko wapi? Akampiga pale. Akadondoka chini. Yes, I want the other one. one must run from that side from the toilets. Atoke kwenye vyo kule alakimbilia huko. And I will shoot him over there. Nami nimpigie bunduki pale pale. There he comes. Anatokea huko kwenye vyo hakukua na kitu. Neno lililo neno ah. Likidhihirishwa. Yule sungura akatoka. Akapigwa. Amen. Alitaka kuondoka bwana akamwambia Uliomba watatu ndugu Sema sasa watatu Hii nitataka nione kama haiwezekani Akimbie huku ajifiche kwenye mti fulani pale nyuma Alafu nimpige akiwa kwenye lile jani la kilanjano Hakukua na huyo sungura poli Ndipo kindi akanenwa atokee Nabii akamwona. Akampiga kuchukua dondoka chini. Alipomsimulia hii habari dada Hati. Dada Hati right akasema. Brother Brana. Dogo Brana. That is nothing but the truth. Hiyo si chochote bali ni kweli tupu. Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. Akamwambia dada umesema jambo lilo sahihi. Omba chochote utakacho. Sema ndugu Branham. I want the salvation of my two boys. Nahitaji wokovu wa vijana wangu wawili. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his wonderful name. Ulibarikiwe jina lake la ajabu. I'm going to read a couple of quotations if you don't mind. Nitasoma nukuu kadhaa kama hamtadhurika. In a message I heard but now I see. Kwenye ujumbe nimekuwa nikisikia lakini sasa nimeona. Branham says now. Branham anasema sasa we are grateful to the Lord. Tunamshukuru sana Bwana to be living in the day that we are living. Kuishi kwenye siku tunayoishi. 
just before the coming of Jesus. Kabla tu ya kuja kwa Bwana Yesu. As I've said before, kama mavu nimesema kabla, it's the greatest time of all history. Huu ndio wakati mkuu kuliko nyakati zote za historia. I don't care there can be another wave of covid. Wala sijali hata likija wimbi lingine la corona. This is still the greatest time to Huu ndio wakati mkuu kuliko zote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a wave. Hebu tumpungie Bwana mkono wa sifa. You and I. Wewe na mimi. Are living. Tunaishi. In the golden age. Kwenye kizazi cha dhahabu. God has come this back. Mungu ametutunzia kilicho bora kwa ajili ya siku yetu. This is the greatest time to live. Huu ni wakati mkuu sana wa kuishi. He says I can rather be living right now. Ni bora ningeishi sasa than at any time. Kuliko kuishi kwenye kizazi kingine chochote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his wonderful name. Nibarikiwe jina lake la ajabu. Amen. Amen. He says if God would, would have spoke to me back before the foundation Anasema of the world. Anasema kama Mungu angezungumza nami niuliza a thought in his mind. Eh kabla kuweka misingi ya ulimwengu nilipokuwa wazo kwenye ufahamu wake. So will you na wewe ulikuwa wazo kwenye ufahamu wake. If he, he would have said Kama angeniuliza what age do you want to live? Ungetamani utokee kizazi kipi? I would have said Ningemwambia no, no. kizazi hiki. The economies may be gone. The economies of the world. Labda uchumi unaweza kuwa umemomonyoka. I don't care. Mimi sijali. I'm living in the golden age. Naishi kwenye kizazi cha dhahabu. I'm living in the best time ever. Naishi kwenye wakati ulio bora kuliko wote. Mungu amenitunzia. Mungu ameshuka. The very best for life. Amenitunzia bora kwa ajili yangu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. Amen. Amen. Oh, may God give us grace. Na Mungu atujalie neema. He says Sema, this is a horrible time. Huni wakati wa hatari sana. But the most glorious time in the world. Lakini ni wakati ambao umetukuka sana katika ulimwengu huo huo. The gospel. Kuhubili injili. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We spoke to the ministers last night. Tulizungumza na wahuduma usiku uliopita. When is the best time to Wakati upi wa kuhubili injili ulio bora ni upi? When you were like Timothy preaching it in the days of Paul. Je, ungekuwa kule unahubiri katika siku za Paulo? No, not according to Brother Benham. Sio kusivyo sawa na ndugu Brother Benham says this. Ndugu Brother anasema wakati huu is the most glorious. Ndio wakati uliotukuka sana. For you brothers here in Tanzania. Kwa nyinyi ndugu hapa Tanzania. Go out and preach the gospel. Kutoka nje na kuhubiri nje. Lay your hands on the sick. Na kuombea wagonjwa. Pray for them. Kuombea. They shall be healed. Wao watapona. This is the golden age. Hichi ni kizazi cha dhahabu. Amen. Amen. Praise his wonderful name. Nibarikiwe jina lake la ajabu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I will have to skip some of these things here. Yeah? Napaswa kuacha baadhi ya mambo. Enoch is our type. Sasa Enoch ni mfano wetu. Can we say amen? Tunataka kusema amina? I like that. Napenda mkisema hivyo. Your your Swahili way of saying amen. Amina. Namna yenu ya Kiswahili ya kusema amen Amina. So nice. Amina ni tamu kuliko emeni. Mungu akubariki. Mungu akubariki. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Watch it. I will be fluent in Swahili one of these days. Angalieni kuna siku nitakuja kuongea Kiswahili kwa mtiririko mzuri hapa. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now let's just look for two minutes. Kwa dakika chache, Henoch. The Bible says. Biblia inasema Adam lived so many years. Aliishi Adam aliishi miaka mingi. And beget children and he died. Akazaa watoto lakini akafa. Seth lived so many years. Seth aliishi miaka mingi. So many children and he died. watoto wengi akafa. Then Enos. Enos lived so many years. Aliishi miaka mingi. Beget children and he died. Akazaa watoto lakini alikufa. Canaan Kainani lived so many years. Ali live ishi miaka mingi. So Akazaa watoto wengi lakini alikufa. Mahalil. Mahalali. He lived so many years. Ali ishi miaka mingi. Akazaa watoto lakini alikufa. Jared. Jared lived so many years. Ali ishi miaka mingi. Akazaa watoto lakini alikufa. Now remember. Sasa kumbuka. Jared was the sixth son after Adam. Jared alikuwa ni mtoto wa sita baada ya Adam. Now let us before Jared 
time. Sasa baada ya yale kufa, he fathered the son by the name of Enoch. Sasa mwanawe aliyepewa jina la Enoch. And he Enoch. Na Enoch was the seventh after Adam. Alikuwa ni wa saba kutoka kwa Adam. All the other men, six men before him. Wanaume wengine hao sita wote, their lives started with the birth date. Ma uh, walianza na tarehe ya kuzaliwa. Wakaishia in a death date. Na tarehe ya kufa. But here comes the strange guy. Sasa anakuja jamaa wa kipekee. Alianza na tarehe ya kuzaliwa. But he never had a funeral. Lakini hana tarehe ya kufa. Hana tarehe ya kufa. The Bible says Anna Enoch walked with God. Alitembea pamoja na Mungu. And he was translated. Hata akabadilishwa. His body was changed. Mwili wake ulibadilishwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He walked. Alitembea. And then his steps got higher. Na kinywa tu zikaanza kwenda juu. Zikaenda juu. Zikaenda juu. Zikaenda juu. Then God took him. Na Mungu akamchukua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He never died. Hakufa kamwe. He kept on living. Aliendelea kuishi. You know. Unaona? Brother Adam. Hallelujah. Tuko pamoja? God bless you brother Felix. Mungu akubariki ndugu Felix. Amen. Amen. Sure. Hakika. Our, our brother over here. Ndugu yetu huyo hapa. If he was living in uh, Enoch's time. Kama angeishi wakati wa Enoch he would have said uh, yeah, we are just waiting for this guy to go I'll do his funeral angoja huyu jamaa akiondoka tu mimi nambadili nafasi yake he would have waited for a long time angengoja sana he was waiting for the opportunity to take soil and says dust to dust ashes to ashes akiwa kama mchungaji anangojea tu huyu nitamzika nitasema majivu kwa majivu udongo kwa udongo It never happened to Enoch. Jambo hilo alikutukia kwa Enoch. Enoch never had a funeral. Enoch aliishi milele. Enoch kept on living. Yeye aliendelea kuishi. God took him. Mungu akamtwa. Let me tell you. Nikwambie kitu. There are people sitting here today. Kuna watu wamekaa hapa leo. You are the end type of Enoch. Ninyi ni mifano wa Enoch. You will not die. Hamutakufa. You will be translated. Mtabadilishwa miili. You will be changed. Mtabadilishwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. Amen. Amen. Praise his wonderful name. Libarikiwe jina lake la ajabu. Amen. Amen. Je bado mnampenda Bwana? Praise the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Je tufunge? Lakini mbona nitahubiri tena mchana? Don't be so mean on me. Jamani msiniambie kitu ambacho ammaanishi. Amen. 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 You see Enoch broke. Unaona Enoch the end he died beaten. Alivunja ule uchungu wa kufa, kuishia kwa kufa. Amen. Amen. Enoch never died. Enoch akufa. Enoch lived on and on. Aliendelea kuishi na kuendelea na kuendelea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God have mercy upon us. Mungu awe mwingi wa rehema kwetu. Six men before him. Wale wanaume sita kabla yake. Settled for death and died. Walingojea kifo na kweli walikufa. But Enoch, lakini Enoch had a funeral list. Hakuwa hajawahi kuwa na msiba wa Enoch. And some of you Baadhi yenu hapa The graveyard is not going to be your end. Makaburi so sio maeneo yenu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will not end in a graveyard. Hamtaishia kwenye makaburi. Because your body will be changed. Mimi Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. I'm going to skip all these things. Tacha ya baadhi ya mambo. For the next for the next time. Kwa ajili ya wakati mwingine. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The six men before him were Wale watu sita kabla yake they were associated with death. Wao waliunganishwa na kifo. But you just like you know Lakini wewe kama Enoch hauhusiani na kifo. 
We are waiting for our body. Sisi tunangojea mili yetu ibadilishwe. It, it brings me to I was in Port Elizabeth. In Port Elizabeth in South Africa. Na ina nilikuwa kule Port Elizabeth Afrika ya Kusini. And uh, the Lord laid it on my heart to speak on remember Lot's wife. Mungu akaweka mzigo moyoni mwangu juu ya somo la kumkumbuka mke wa Lutu. What happened to Lot's wife? Mke wa Lutu alikumbwa na nini? She had a body change. Alibadilishwa mwili wake. As though it was negative but Japokuwa badiliko lake lilikuwa la tofauti lakini naye alibadilishwa. She was walking. Alikuwa anatembea. Maybe they were running. Labda walikuwa wanakimbia. 16 elements. Na zile chembe chembe 16 za mwili. Zikabadilisha mwili. But then she Lakini remember what we've read. Kumbuka tulichosoma. Whatever the Lord says. Chochote Bwana atakachokuagiza kifanye. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She didn't listen to the warning of the angel. Hakusikiliza lile onyo la malaika. Malaika aliwambia kimbia. Lakini msiangalie nyuma. And when she looked back. Lakini yeye akaangalia nyuma. She had a body change. Ana mwili wake ulibadilishwa. 16 elements to salt. Chembe chembe 16 za chumvi. Amen. Amen. I don't want to start with that. But brother sister amen. Lakini ndugu dada. And then I ended up with Nikamalizia na Kumbukeni the Lord's wife. Mke wa Bwana. Not Lot's wife. Sio mke wa Lutu. The Lord's mke wife. wa Bwana. She will have a body change. Na yeye mwili wake utabadilika. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will have a body change. Lazima mwili wako ubadilishwe. Amen. Amen. Remember the Lord's wife. Mkumbukeni mke wa Bwana. Our body change is imminent. Na kubadilishwa kwa mwili ni lazima. It can happen any day. Na unaweza kutokea siku yoyote. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's read a quotation and move on. Brother Benham says in the katika ujumbe wa unyakuo ndugu Branham anasema In the message rapture kwenye ujumbe wa unyakuo He says now Tama sasa we find here that Enoch was the seventh from Adam. Tunaona kwamba eh, Enoch alikuwa ni wa saba kutoka kwa Adam which was a type of the church ages. Ambao walikuwa ni mifano wa nyakati za kanisa. Amen. Amen. Now all of the rest of the six men before him died. Wale wote sita kabla yake walikufa. But lakini Enoch was translated. Enoch alibadilishwa. Enoch never died. Enoch hajawahi kufa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Enoch was raptured. Enoch alinyakuliwa. The seven wa saba. Amen. Amen. Showing that it is the seventh church age that takes. Hilo linaonyesha ni nyakati ya saba ya kanisa inayonyakuliwa. Hebu tumpungie Mungu mkono wa sifa. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. I know I may not do justice to whatever I want to share here, but I want to get to the to the end of my uh, my, 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 my subject. Here. Na tafuta tu namna hapa ya kumalizia somo langu. Now we have learned that uh, according to Brother Benham God has used mainly the service of uh, reformers Tume, church ages. Tumejifunza kwamba kupitia kwa mafundisho ya Nubrana Mungu ametumia watengenezaji katika vipindi vya nyakati. Wesley was a reformer. Wesley alikuwa tu ni mtengenezaji. Luther was a reformer. Luther alikuwa ni mtengenezaji. But as we are in Red Cove the other day bro where Lakini kama tulivyo nuku siku nyingine ndugu Ndugu Brana anasema kupita nyakati zote sita za kanisa This word has been messed up Hili neno lilikuwa limegoshiwa goshiwa People had it Watu waliongeza kidogo Walipunguza kidogo And the word was no longer pure Neno halikubaki kuwa safi The word was messed up Neno lilikuwa limechafuliwa Lakini kwenye nyakati ya saba ya kanisa Tulihitaji neno lote lirejeshwe Hallelujah Hallelujah And in order to restore the word Na ili neno lirejeshwe We needed a divine interpreter Tulihitaji mfasili wa neno la kiungu We needed a prophet ambaye ni nabii alirudisha neno lote to the original kama lilivyokuwa mwanzo spoken word is the original lile neno lilonenwa ndio mbegu ya asili god has kept the best mungu ametutunzia kilicho bora reformer 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 watengenezaji 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 right lakini mwishoni hapa god kept mungu ame prophet ameinua nabii hallelujah hallelujah Praise the Lord. Alikiwe jina la Bwana. Through six church ages. Nyakati sita za kanisa. 
The people messed up the word. Watu walilichanganya neno. Amen. Amen. It was misinterpreted theology. Ilikuwa ni kutafsiri vibaya. That got the Bible into the mess that they've got. Wakaiweka Biblia kwenye mchafuko. Now they got women preachers. Hata wakaweka wanawake wanahubiri against the word. Ambayo ni kinyume na neno. Bishops being married five times. Wahubiri wameoa mara tano sita. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. A bishop shall be the husband of one. Mwangalizi ni mme wa mke mmoja. Amen. Amen. Other day I saw a little picture. Sikwingine niliona picha of a minister in Congo. Muhuduma wa kule Congo. Standing with one white here and another. Mke mmoja amemshika huku mwingine huku. Anti Bible. Nani wa muaminio? Ni kinyume na neno. God has sent us a prophet there was a need. Mungu ametutumia kwamba kulikuwa kuna uhitaji wa nabii. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Barikiwe jina la Bwana. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uh, God has reserved. Mungu ametutunzia. God has kept the best. Mungu ametutunzia kilicho bora. Brother, Ndugu, if Brother Brenham was a reformer, kama ndugu Branham angekuwa ni mtengenezaji, then we would have had a big problem. Tungepata matatizo ya kutosha. The word can only be restored by Neno linaweza kurejeshwa tu na nabii aliyethibitishwa. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And we believe we have received such a person in our day. Na sasa tunaamini tumepokea mtu kama huyo katika siku yetu. I think I'm going to lose I'm going to leave the rest of it. Naamini mengine yote nitayaachia. I'm going to close. Nami nakaribia kufunga. With the following. Na haya yafuatayo. Look can you do something for us here? Ndugu unaweza kutusaidia tutoe madhabahu. My precious brother Joseph read uh, Revelation chapter 5. Ndugu yangu wa thamani Joseph alisoma ufunuo sura ya 5. Yes, sir. You can put that here. Look at you read Revelation chapter 5 for us here. Okay. Turudie kusoma ufunuo sura ya 5. I'm closing with this. Nafunga Nafunga na hili ufunuo sura ya You must read it slow bro. Okay. So that we can be try to move it here. Yeah, where where is the throne book? Can we get a throne and just read the chairs and ask to pray? Your undivided attention, please don't don't even wink your eye, you're gonna miss it. Bring my chair, bro. I need my phone. Kiti changu na kiomba, kiti changu. <laughs> kiti cha kifalme. <laughs> Kuna mtu ameye kufanya igizo lolote popote? Mbona mbo, I took some pictures with you, your mother and your sister. Mbona ukuepo nili studying engineering. Nilipiga picha na mama na wewe na dada yako. Amen. I'm not trying to be a uh, 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 prophesying. I know that I'm not. Sitoi unabii namfahamu. Nilisema mwanzoni ufunuo sura ya 5 inakuhusu wewe. Je, unaweza kuitikia Amina? Amen. Amen. Bro, I prefer you. Ndugu, inakuhusu wewe. Jo. Now you're going to start the reading, bro. Sasa utaanza kusoma. Ndugu njoo ukae. Don't be scared. Usiogope ndugu, kaa tu. Listen to what the Bible says, Revelation chapter 5. Sikiliza eh ufunuo sura ya 5 umoja Biblia inachosema. reading both uh, if you can somebody read it ah uh, okay okay oh. Oh, I to read it out. yes now this i can just put it there you know the bible says john was in the spirit of the lord on the isle of patmos and he saw a vision now what Sasa, is what biblia inasema E, Yohana alikuwa katika kisiwa cha Patmo alipoona ono. So what you see here? Unachokiona hapa? This is the vision of John. Hili ndio ono la Yohana. And what is the first verse says? Ustali wa kwanza unasemaje? And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a stone of sapphire. Kisha nikaona katika stone of sapphire. I just want to have it put here first. Nataka watu waone vile vile. 
Mkono wako kulia uko wapi ndugu? Mkono wako kulia uko wapi? Mkono wako kulia. Brother Benham says it was not a four cornered scroll. Hakikuwa kitabu chenye pembe nne kama hiki. It was parchment that was rolled. Yalikuwa ni magombo yaliyovilingishwa. So we are together. Kwa tuko pamoja. Let's give the Lord a wave. Hebu tumpungie Mungu mkono wa sifa. In your right hand. Mkono wako wa kuume. A book sealed with seven seals. Kitabu kimetua muhuri na miuri saba. Tuko pamoja. Praise the Lord. Wanaweza sifiwe. There was a throne occupier with a book. Alikuepo mtu mwenye kiti na kitabu kipo. Amen. Amen. Ndugu nyosha juu. Can we continue please? A book written within and on the back side sealed with seven seals. Praise the Lord. Wanaweza sifiwe. Kile kitabu kilichoandikwa ndani na nyuma kimetiwa muhuri saba. So we we are still there now. Amen. I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, "Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof?" Nikaona malaika mwenye nguvu akihubiri kwa sauti kuu, "Ni nani astahilie kukifungua kitabu na kuzivunja muhuri zake?" Praise the Lord. Now people watch. Sasa watu angalieni. Bro, can you come here? Brother, nomba uje. I want you to stand over there. Nataka usimame pale. I know you won't believe me, but believe me. Najua mtu niamini lakini niaminini. This was the seventh angel. Huyu alikuwa ndio yule malaika wa saba. Do you know who the seventh angel was? Unajua malaika wa saba ni nani? William Branham in Jeffersonville. William, hii ni alama ya William Branham. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You didn't know you were in the Bible man. Haukujua kwamba wewe ulikuwa kwenye Biblia? Right. We need a third character but I'll play that character. A third character. Tuli... I'm going to play that. Okay. Tunahitaji mtu wa tatu katika ili ono. Sasa mimi nitakuwa mtu wa tatu. So I'm the lamb. Sasa mimi ndio mwana kondoo. And I was way out in the eternities. Nilikuwa huko natokea kwenye umilele. Amen. I wasn't part of the vision. Sikuwa sehemu ya lile ono. Amen. Amen. There's One sitting on a throne. Yupo aliyeketi kwenye kiti cha enzi. Their brother is in America. Yule ndugu yuko kule Marekani. Amen. Amen. And yes the lamb. Na huyu mwana kondoo. I'm in the eternities. Nipo kwenye milele. I'm not part of the Siko vision. sehemu ya hilo ono. Read the next verse bro. Soma mstari unaofuata ndugu. And no man in Wala hapakuwa na mtu mbinguni wala juu ya nchi wala chini ya nchi aliyeweza kukifungua hicho kitabu wala kukitazama I suppose I haven't got the time to preach on this subject here He looked in heaven Ali, Aliangalia mbinguni He saw Gabriel and Michael Alimona Gabrieli na Mikaeli But they were disqualified Lakini hawakuwa na sifa Hawakustahili kufungua hicho kitabu Amen Amen The Bible says then he looked on the earth. Akasema akaangalia duniani. He saw brother sister and Paul and all the great men. ndugu Paulo na wadada wote. But they were all got disqualified. Lakini wote hawakuwa na sifa. The Bible says why? Ndugu Paulo anasema kwa nini? Because they were born of sex. Kwa sababu walizaliwa kutokana na kujamiana kimwili. Hallelujah. He looked underneath the earth. Akaenda chini ya ardhi. He saw men that used to love. Akaona the men that used to love. Watu ambao waliwahi kuishi They were brother sister disqualified on the same basis. They were born of sex. Walizaliwa kwa kujuana kimwili. John said. Nipo Yohana anasema. Then I begin to wail. Nipo nikaanza kuomboleza. I cry. Nikalia. Because nobody over there. Kwa sababu hakuna kule juu. Nobody over there. Hakuna mtu hapa. Nobody under me there. Chini. Was worthy to take. Aliyestahili kukitoa kitabu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John said. Yohana akasema. If no man was found worthy. Kama mtu hakuna mtu. Take the book. Aliyepatikana na stahili kufungua kitabu. Afungue miuri. To open up the book. Afunua kile kitabu. All of us would have been lost. Wote tungekuwa tumepotea. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu abarikiwe. Brother Isaac what's the next verse? I'm going back to read it. Bwana ndugu Isaac kaendelea na mstari unaofuata narudi kwenye umelele.
Nami nikalia sana kwa kuwa hapakuonekana mtu asaidia kukifungua hicho kitabu wala kukitazama. Na mmoja wapo wale wazee akaniambia usilie Tazama Simba aliye wa kabila la Yuda stop stop the bro Apo apo ndugu says the lion has prevailed has overcome to take that book Simba the, ameshinda the, Oh sorry sorry to go on yes Yeah he says he saw or he was told that the lion of the tribe of Judah Aliambiwa kwamba Simba wa kabila la Yuda has prevailed to take the book ameshinda kuchukua kitabu but lakini bro what happened next ndugu soma kilichofuata Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He said a lion but there stood a lamb. Anasema simba lakini huko anatokea mwana kondoo. And this is don't read any further. Usisome tena hapo. I'm going to tell you what happened. Nitakwambia nini kilichotukia hapo. Now the lamb was in the eternity. Mwana kondoo alikuwa ametoka milele. He was on the throne busy with interceding. Alikuwa anafanya upatanisho. Na mara tu the Bible Biblia inasema the prophecies. Nabii anasema This prophet says yes, the lamb comes out of Kondo, the eternities. Umilele. And he was heading towards wapi? Patmos. Pale Patmo. And he woke up to Akatembea mpaka kafika. The one sitting on the throne. Kwa yeye aliyeketi kwenye kiti cha enzi. He took the book out of his hand. Akatoa kitabu kwenye mkono wake wa 10. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. He took off the Alitoa kitabu. Biblia inasema Akangoa zile lakili zote. Amen. Kitabu kilichokuwa kimefungwa kinakaribia kufunguliwa. Hakafungua vifungo. Hallelujah. Kitabu kilichokuwa kimefungwa sasa kimefunguliwa. The book that was closed. Kitabu kilichokuwa kimefungwa is now open. Sasa kimefunguliwa. By the lamb. Na mwana kondoo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother. Ndugu. And the closed book. Na kitabu kilichokuwa kimefungwa was open. Kikafunguliwa. What was in the book? Nini kilikuwa kimeandikwa kwenye kitabu? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your name. Jina lako. Jina lako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Lilikuepo hapo. Isaac alikuepo. Majina yenu yalikuepo hapa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are in Revelation chapter 5. Mlikuepo kwenye ufunuo sura ya 5. Stop it. Stop it. Acheni hapo hapo. Acheni hapo hapo. Tulieni. You not going to believe this. Najua mnaweza msiamini hili. You not going to believe this. Mnaweza msiamini hili. Brother Benham says. John must have seen his name. Yohana lazima aliliona jina lake. Crying time was over. Na wakati wa kulia ukao umeisha, alianza kufurahia. Alipiga kelele kwa sababu ameona jina lake. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. His name was written in here. Jina lake liliandikwa. And he rejoiced. Ndipo akashangilia. Watu mbinguni wakashangilia. Amestahili mwana kondoo. Apokee sifa utukufu na heshima. Now. Sasa. Yes the most important part. Hapa ndo sehemu ya muhimu kuliko zote. I'm saying it here but I'm going to read it to you in close. Nasema lakini nitawasomea wakati nafunga. Miuri imeshavunjwa. Kitabu kimefunguliwa. Biblia inasema ni kitabu cha ukombozi watoto wa Mungu waliokombolewa majina ya watu waliokombolewa lakini unaweza usiamini kinachofuata akabadilika kuwa kutoka kwenye kiti cha enzi kuingia kwa mwana kondoo ambaye angevunja miili kwa sababu alikuwa ndiye pekee anayestahili 
Ndugu Here it comes Hapa inakuja I'm going to I'm going to say it but I'm going to read it for you too Nita nasema lakini nitawasomea pia The book is now Kitabu sasa hivi kime Angulua Kimefunguliwa Angulua Yeah. means it's open na maana kimefunguliwa seals have been taken away na miuri yote imevunjwa now you can see some some believers say all the seals are not open unaweza kusikia baadhi ya waaminiwa wakisema kuna baadhi ya miuri haijafunguliwa how can you have an open book if there was still a seal unawezaje kuwa na kitabu kilichofunguliwa alafu hakijafunguliwa alafu na miuri haipo imevunjwa now yes the beautiful part hii ndio sehemu nzuri kuliko the book is open kitabu kimefunuliwa kimefunguliwa You know what God did? Unajua Mungu alifanya nini? Au mwana kondoo alifanya kitu gani? I'm going to read it to you. Nitawasomeni. He took the book. Alitoa kitabu. Who was this? Huyu alikuwa ni nani mnakumbuka? Nabii. Seventh angel. Malaika wa saba. He took the open book the last. Alichukua kitabu kilichofunguliwa. And he gave it down to the Akakikabidhi kwa malaika wa saba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And the seventh angel. Na yule malaika wa saba to take the open book. Alipaswa chukua kitabu cha funuliwa and give it to his people. Awape watu wake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a wave. Hebu tumpungie Mungu mkono wa sifa. Amen. You can go back. Bro. Sante. God bless you brothers. Now I'm going to read what I've just said. Sasa nitawasomeni kile ambacho tu nimekielezea. So that you know it was my own story. Ili mjue hii haikuwa hadithi yangu niliyotunga. I'm going to skip some of these things. Napaswa kuyaacha baadhi ya mambo. We grateful that God has promised us. Tunashukuru kwamba Mungu ametupa ahadi. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I want to get to you there. The quote where Brother Benham spoke about what I've just tried to demonstrate. Nataka nifike mahali ambapo utaona nukuu ambayo nabii ameelezea kile ambacho tumekielezea. Are you ready? Jembo tayari kusikia? Brother Benham says. Ndugu Benham anasema He says and how can Jehovah inawezekanaje Jehovah see anything but a bloody lamb standing there asione chochote isipokuwa mwana kondoo aliyesimama pale mwenye damu listen to what brother benham says sikiza mbona brother anasema and the lamb proceeded out of the eternity na mwana kondoo akitoka kwenye umilele amen amen praise the lord amen out of the eternity kutoka kwenye umilele Listen to what he says. Sikiliza anachosema. From the eternity. Toka kwenye umilele. He came. Akaja. And he entered into John's vision. Akaingia kwenye lile ono la Yohana. He became part of the vision. Akawa sehemu ya ono. He walked up to the one that was sitting on the throne. Akaenda kwa yeye aliye katika kwenye kiti cha enzi. Took the book out of his hand. Akatoa kitabu kwenye mkono wake wa kuume. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let's read the rest of the quotation and then we'll close. Hebu tusome sehemu ya nukwili ubaki sha tutafunga. He came from the father's throne. Alitoka kwenye kiti cha enzi cha baba. Where did he advance from? Alianzia wapi? To this vision. Kuingia kwenye hili ono. He came from glory. Alitoka utukufuni. Where he was seated at Alipo the right hand of God. Alipokuwa amekaa kwenye mkono wa kume. He advanced and entered into John's vision. Akajiingiza kwenye ono la Yohana. And then he says, listen to this. Anasema sikiliza hii. He says and he took the book na kisha akatoa kitabu glory utukufu he opened the book akafungua kitabu tore the seal akararua miuli took the book akatoa kitabu tore the seal akararua miuli and then the next thing is kitu kinachofuata ni let me read that part for you as well nikusomee sema inayofuata and he opened the seals akafunua miuli that's the reason why i think john Uh, was doing all the shouting the other night. Hiyo ndio sababu nafikiri Yohana kwa nini alipiga sana kelele. Lazima aliliona jina lake pale. Hallelujah. Amen. Bye. Hallelujah. Da, the last quotation. Nukuya mwisho anasema and he sent it down. Akatuma kile kitabu chini. The unveiled word. Neno lililofunuliwa. The opened word. Neno lililofunguliwa. He sent it down to the. Akalituma chini duniani. To the 
to his seventh angel. Kwa malaika wake wa saba. To reveal it. Ili malaika huyo akifunue to his people. Kwa watu wake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his wonderful name. I wonder can we all stand? Sijui kama tunaweza wote tukasimama. Let's just give the Lord a way a way for. Hebu tumpungie Mungu mkono wa sifa. Seme Bwana. We are grateful. Tunakushukuru sana. For what you have done in our Kwa kile ulichokifanya kwenye kizazi chetu. Amen. Amen. Let us just Brother Benham says. Ndugu Brother anasema, I'm not sure that we are thankful enough. Sijui kama tunashukuru vya kutosha. For the things that the Lord. Kwa mambo ambayo Bwana ametutendea mbele zetu. Brother. Ndugu, I sat with a Bible school student. Nili eh, zungumza na wanafunzi wa shule ya Biblia. And I was able to take him to pieces. Mbaka nikamrarua vipande vipande. He wanted to insult Brother Benham. Alikuwa anajaribu kumkashifu Brother Benham. Nilipoondoka. When I went out of his house. Nilikondoka nyumbani mwake. He says Brother Ronnie, do you think I've got a chance? Aksema ndugu Roni, unafikiri bado nina nafasi? Said you've ridiculed the prophet. Nikamwambia wewe ume You said he was a fake. Ume umemkashifu nabii unasema ni wa uongo. If he spoke as an oracle of God and that was the Holy Spirit speaking to him. Na nikasema kama alizungumza kama mamlaka ya Mungu na ni roho mtakatifu. Sasa mimi sitaki kukaa kwenye viatu vyako. The Bible says say one word against. Ndugu Bwana anasema ukinena neno moja dhidi ya roho mtakatifu. Utasamewa hapa wala kule baadaye. But we are grateful for. Lakini sisi tumependelewa in our day and age. siku yetu. I want us just to stand right where you are nataka usimame hapo hapo ulipo just raise your hands and inua mikono yako na your gratefulness na ushukuru kwa unavyoshukuru kwa moyo wako wote for what the lord has done in our day kwa kile mungu alichofanya kwenye siku yetu hallelujah just in your own way kwa namna yako ya kipekee just say thank you lord sema tu asante bwana hallelujah lead us in a word of